John Calvin, Institutio Christiani Religionis, 1536, Episode 14. It est quod antea ad monuimus a rebus corporeis, quae in sacramentis proferuntur, quadam analogia, nos ad spirituales deduci debere. Calvin continues, and he says, This is, it est, that which we advised earlier or previously, namely, that from corporeal considerations, from bodily things, a rebus corporeis, from the bodily things which in the sacraments are brought forward, proferuntur, by a certain analogy or by a certain comparison, we ought to be led, nos, to spiritual things, ad spirituales. Let's look a little more closely at the grammar then. The subject is id, and it's placed first. It's neuter singular and nominative. It's regularly used as the third person pronoun. The verb is est. The rest is modification, but of course the modification here is very important. That is, or this is, the thing which we previously suggested or advised about. Ad monuimus is first plural, perfect, indicative, and active. It's from the second conjugation verb, ad monio, ad monere. We see here the third principal part, ad monui, in the first plural ending. Antea is an adverb, a temporal adverb. This is the thing which we earlier warned about or advised. And then he's going to tell us what that is in the remainder of the selection. Namely, that from corporeal considerations, a rebus corporeis, and rebus is feminine plural, and ablative. The noun is res rei, it's feminine, it's fifth declension, and it is very broad in its meaning. Anything that has to do with the body is what rebus means here, because of the adjective corporeis, which is the same gender number and case. The adjective's lexical entry is corporeus, corporea, and corporeum, masculine, feminine, and neuter, respectively. That, from bodily considerations, we ought to be led, nos deduci debere, we ought to be led ad spirituales, namely, ad spirituales race, to spiritual considerations. So in the sacrament, from bread and wine, we are led to body and blood, ad spirituales. So then we have nested within the larger relative clause, we have another relative clause, from quae through proferuntur. So from the bodily things, bodily or earthly considerations, the ones quae, the ones which in the sacraments are brought forward or produced. So the quae here is feminine plural and nominative. It gets its gender and number from its antecedent rebus, and it takes its case from how it's used in the clause, namely as the subject of proferuntur, the things which are brought forward. This proferuntur is third plural, present, indicative, and passive from the irregular verb pro ferro pro fere, like so pro fere, like so which is an irregular the things which are produced or offered in the sacraments sacramentis neuter plural and ablative as the object of the preposition in which are offered in the sacraments by a certain analogy quadam analogia feminine singular and ablative this is an ablative of instrument ablativus instrumenti and this really is the heart of the Calvinistic understanding of the Supper. From corporeal things to spiritual things, we must be led by a kind of comparison or analogy, quadam analogia. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.